Answers to your plant questions this morning. Yeah, the one and only Marlene, the plant lady, is back with us while we enjoy, we just enjoy some plant based food. We just enjoy some plant based ravioli. Does that sound Ooh. good to you? Um, I think if you cover anything in enough sauce, it'll taste good, right? <laughs> <laughs> yep. All right, you ready for your questions? Here we go. I'm feeling jaded about my jade plant. Huh. Oh. Uh, uh. The leaves are turning red and some are dropping off. Okay, um, turning red is not unusual for succulents in the wintertime. They're not photosynthesizing, so they basically just sort of get rid of their chlorophyll, and then the other pigments show through, which are anthocyanins for the most part, and um, so that's fine. So the leaves dropping off, that could also be due to cold damage as well. Um, this plant looks almost like it could be repotted a bit. It's probably in too small of a pot, that soil isn't gonna isn't a succulent soil. It doesn't mm. look like so. Once you see new leaves, I would repot it into a succulent mix. Only a pot a little bit bigger. And remember, for succulents, wait a few days to water in your succulents after you transplant them. Yeah, and they grow so fast, huh? Well, after they do. Yeah. yeah. Do you need some jade? I have a whole bunch. Sure. I'll give you some. Why not? All right. Why is the one blooming on the right and the one on the left is not? Is this crepe yeah. myrtle? No, that's Ceanothus, oh, and that's I'm assuming they mean both are Ceanothus, and they're wondering why the one on the left, um, it's dead. And oh. so assuming it's a Ceanothus, because the one on the right looks like a Ceanothus. So here's the sad thing about Ceanothus. They're not long-lived. They grow oh. very fast, oh. and some species will die between seven to ten years. I had seven of them die on my property uh, they were all planted the same year and they all died the same year oh. and they were in different parts bad drainage so if you're planting ceanothus amend the soil so it's good drainage and it's raised remember it's not the summer irrigation that kills a lot of our natives and drought tolerant plants it's the winter when the soil stays wet if it's not draining oh, well see. so really does always look. scrape the bark though if it's green underneath, it may come back. And also, see, you know this, they could sprout from the base. So keep an eye on the base because there is still a chance it could come back. That does look like a crepe myrtle. Do they look similar? Uh, yeah, but crepe myrtles aren't that blue and they're not blooming now. Okay. Mm. All right. And number three question here, what is this weed? Yes. It's annoying. That's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> Are we talking with all the yellow flowers oh. here? Everything? Yes. All these things? So pretty, okay, though. so remember remember when I chewed on the weed and yes. that's called sour grass, yes. but it's not a grass? This is an oxalis. It's oxalis pest capre, and it's a pest. No. Uh, it spreads by little bulbs. So even if you pull it out, you're not getting rid of the bulbs. It's going to seed if you let the flowers go to seed. So you have to dig up all the bulbs. What I would do here is I would lay down cardboard at the beginning of next winter because it's a winter weed, it'll die down soon. I would lay mm. cardboard between your plants and then lay on thick mulch or thick wood chips to smother so it can't come back up in the winter. And if you keep doing that year after year, you're gonna kill everything off. Oh, wow. The weeds, that is. So, hey, yeah. um, Marlene? Yes? FYI, today is actually National Weed Appreciation Day. Uh, <laughs> what kind of weed are we talking uh, about? The one that we are just talking about. <laughs> The one that are pests in the front yard. Oh, did I? Okay. Can't All make right, this up. You cannot you know. make this up. I know where you're going. <laughs> well, I mean, I have to ask because I don't know anyone who appreciates weeds. I know plenty of people who appreciate uh, the other one. <laughs> On that note, we'll be right back in Tomo Marlene with more of your questions, 10 o'clock hour.